Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Mandibles. And this is a new film from writer-director Quentin Dupeo, and he is a French filmmaker, and like two minutes into watching this movie, I'm like, this really reminds me of Deerskin. And then it's the same writer and director as Deerskin. Um, this director has a very idiosyncratic, just effect in what he creates in his films that are so ridiculous. There's this high concept that's so absurd, but everything seems to work around it to still deliver an effective film. And you're just like, what's going on here? Because this film starring Grigor Ludig and David Marseille as Manu and Jean Gab are two complete idiots who are charged with driving this car with a briefcase in the trunk to this drop-off to this person, and they discover a giant fly in their trunk. And they're like, we're going to train this fly and make big bucks. Absurd. Like, completely absurd. And this film, you have this tone, and you have this fly that's really effective effects, to be perfectly honest. It looks really realistic. Um, I will question its ability to eat, because what I learned from the movie The Fly is they shoot acid out of their mouths and then, like, slurp it up. That didn't happen here. That would have made this even more interesting. But this film focuses on these two complete idiots work trying to do all these crazy things to advance themselves, whether it's taking over this man's mobile home and then burning it to the ground, or getting picked up by this group of women who thinks one of them is somebody else, and basically one of them, played by Adele Exarchopoulos, who is from Blue is the Warmest Color, who has a brain injury and yells everything, which is a completely absurd, like, side detail about this film is on to them she doesn't trust them but everybody else is like oh they're sweet and honestly there's just a couple of bumbling idiots and honestly i was sitting here i'm like this could have been a flight of the concords episode in french and i wouldn't have known the difference because it really reminds me of jermaine and brett mckenzie and the manu and jean gab are their friendship is so weird and they're so dumb but they're endearing on some level and you actually care about their friendship and this film really turns out to be about friendship and it spends so much time with them building up this friendship and you know having this fly here too lending plenty and they're just taking these shocking turns of all the crazy things that they're doing along the way in this hour and 17 minute film and it's bright it's colorful it has such a specific look to it and this director really knows how to create an ambiance about it. And, you know, it balances, like, this drama and comedy about friendship with two bumbling morons, like Dumb and Dumber, but throw in this fly, which has this weird fantasy element to it, and you have such a weird, different kind of experience that by the end you're just like, I like this, even though it could feel a little aimless, narratively they get veered off course along the way of trying to get this suitcase to who it's supposed to be which by the way the gag of what it winds up being is so absurd but so is the rest of this film this film rides so much on the absurdity and it's so much fun along the way and so weird and different and unique and it's something that has to be seen so when mandibles comes out you all should go check it out because this is just absurd it is a wonder from this director who's just full of wonderments in this French cinematic experience that you get from his films. But those are my thoughts on Mandibles. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.